today we will create this seamless loop animation but before that if you have not checked this animation tutorial check it after this so let's start the tutorial on our channel thing sci-fi delete the cube and add a curve then path rotate it 90 degree in y axis and reduce its scale value to 0.5 then control a and apply all the transform Add a torus by pressing shift A. Then go to constraint setting and add follow path. Then select the curve in the target which we have added. Then move the torus minus 100 in offset. Then make a duplicate of it by pressing shift D and move it minus 50 in the offset. Again make a duplicate of it by pressing shift D and move it 0 in offset. Make a timeline of 50 frame. Add frame 0, enter keyframe in all the 3, torus, offset. Then move the keyframe to 50 and again enter keyframe in all the 3, torus, offset. Now go to frame 25 and select the torus at the top. Enter minus 100 in the offset and enter keyframe. Then again at, at frame 25 select the torus at the bottom enter 0 in the offset and again enter keyframe. Now there is a twist in middle torus so pay attention. Go to frame 12 move the middle torus to minus 100 in offset and enter keyframe. Again move the keyframe to 30 enter 0 in offset and again enter keyframe. Now the up and down motion is complete. Go to graph editor, click normals, click normalize, mouse right click, interpolation mode and select Bezier. Do the same process with the other two torus. Then go to view frame all. Then select the torus at the top and the first frame then reduce its size by pressing SX do the same process with the end frame similarly select the torus at the bottom and select the first frame and reduce its value by pressing SX and do this process with the last frame again select the torus at the middle and reduce size of first frame and last frame the animation is still looking weird so to make it correct we have to play with the scale value go to object property oh before that we have to apply subdivision surface and shade smooth to all the three torus now select the torus at the bottom and go to object property then move the timeline to 12 frame and enter keyframe in the x y and z scale then move the timeline to frame 25 and enter 0.4 in x y and z scale value and again enter keyframe then again move the timeline to 40 and enter keyframe in scale again go to the last frame enter 1 in scale value and again enter keyframe hide the follow path keyframe if it is making confusion Again make keyframe interpolation mode to Bezier. Again reduce the start and end keyframe by pressing SX. After that select the torus at the top. Reduce its scale value to 0.4. And move the timeline to frame 12 and enter keyframe. Then move the timeline to frame 45 make the scale value to 1 and enter keyframe go to the last frame make the scale value 0.4 again and enter keyframe again make the interpolation mode to Bezier and reduce the start and end keyframe scale value by pressing SX now select the torus at the middle make the scale value to 0.49 move the timeline to frame 4 and enter keyframe again move the timeline to frame 12 make the scale value 1 and again enter keyframe again move the timeline to frame 20 and enter keyframe in scale 
again move the timeline to frame 45 and enter 0.49 in scale value and again enter keyframe again make the interpolation mode to bezier and reduce the start and end keyframe by pressing s and x now the animation is complete it's time to set the camera press 0 for camera view then go to camera setting and reduce the focal length now select the path and adjust its rotation value for the best position select the camera and press G and middle mouse button and drag your mouse to adjust the camera all done for the material part check the tutorial in the I button and don't forget to check my previous tutorial